And with the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, the Bahrain International e Government Forum 2018 was launched for its ninth edition, organized by the Information and e Government Authority. Today, we at the e Government Forum, we see um, the imparting of knowledge. Uh, from all subject, subject matter experts from all around the world. So you've got people from Australia, India, China, uh, the UK, uh, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, and uh, the United States, all imparting their expertise and their experiences onto the uh, visitors and seeing what they have learned in delivering services to, to, uh, to uh, citizens, to businesses, and imparting their knowledge on moving forward in today's cloud strategy, how to efficiently deliver these services onto uh, the cloud and make governments more agile in delivering the service. So we see a mixture of knowledge in government services, security, cloud. So this wealth of knowledge is really adding so much information and hopefully um, our guests will come back knowing more and venturing off and doing more services to serve the citizens. This forum in its ninth edition comes in a variety of latest developments in the ICT industry. More than 400 people from the IT sector were invited to learn about the experiences of a variety of innovative technologies and programs in the ICT sector. So I'm talking today about open data, which is data that's made freely available for anybody, including businesses, to create new services and unleash new innovation for Bahrainis. So the main objective for talking about open data is to show how different governments around the world, the US, the UK, the UAE, have opened up data for young people to look at uh, government transparency, for businesses to try to unleash new services, and for the government to be more transparent in the way that it does things. So I think the Bahraini people here at the conference are very interested in the idea of using technologies and data in new ways, especially as we look at a post-oil economy, as we look at having young people wanting to do new things and deliver new services, and we look at the government wanting to improve the services that it currently provides. How we understand that, how we create a data-driven model, is really about gathering the data, organizing it, and starting to analyze it in ways that help to predict the future trends. There are sessions focused on cloud computing, e-payment initiatives, smart cities, technologies, information security, e-transformation and more with a number of professionals involved in this field. So firstly look, it's uh, fantastic to be back here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I love coming here. I'm actually based in Dubai so I'm not too far away. Um, and I love coming here for, for many reasons. Um, but ultimately I think today is, is the key thing that I really enjoy. It's seeing a a progressive kingdom here that wants to shift the boundaries, that wants to be innovative, that wants to push cloud technologies, and I love that. I think it's really, really great. Um, so this morning I was talking a little bit about the cloud and the journey that people go on. Um, we started to look at some areas around security and how we could potentially bring additional security to the cloud to help people, just to make it feel a little bit more secure. And I think the, the, the key argument that I was making, and I think Bahrain has accepted this, they, they're taking the journey, is that you can put additional security around some things, but you can't do it for everything. You know, the world is moving too fast, uh, there's too many things to connect to, too many internet of things, devices, cars, so it has to be measured. And, and my, my one message would be here that, that find the critical things, find the important things. Okay, keep driving the innovation, but find the important things that you really want to secure. If you secure those and make those really tight and, and uh, well secure, then you can really enjoy all the benefits of the cloud. And I've no doubt that Bahrain will absolutely do that. It also highlighted the current trend towards adoption of advanced technologies such as financial technology and blockchain, as well as data analysis techniques and future directions that will benefit from the implementation of development policies in the country. The forum also addressed the most prominent Bahraini and regional success stories in the field of ICT. We had the honor of having the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak, the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, um, who opened uh, the uh, forum uh, that had almost 800 delegates and around 1,500 attendees uh, to the exhibitor exhibition. 
um, for the past two days with around uh, 28 exhibitors. Um, the forum had a lot of activities uh, including, um, uh, including the launch of a few services launched by the Information and E-Government Authority, uh, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications as well as the Ministry of Youth and Sports. And we had the privilege of having one of the uh, United Kingdom uh, companies opening its base in Bahrain and had their official launch at the Bahrain International E-Government Forum and IT Expo uh, to keep Bahrain as its main base. The executive office of the Gulf Society for Disability organized the first leisure festival for persons with disabilities with the participation of several volunteer teams. It is the first initiative of its kind in the kingdom. The Southern Governorate was chosen as the first governorate to host a festival for persons with disabilities at the level of the four governorates in our kingdom, where the executive office seeks to reach the largest segment of people with disabilities and their families to organize programs and events aimed at integrating them into the community. It will give them the opportunity to highlight their talents and innovations in an atmosphere of entertainment that contains many competitions and games that are suited to different disabilities and age groups. Basma Salah Isa, Raisa Al Maktab Tanfizi, in the Mamlaka Al Bahrain, and the Majlis Idara Al Jamia Al Khaliji for the Aqa. Today, this is the first Mahrajan Nukima. يقيم المكتب التنفيذي بمملكة البحرين بمشاركة جميع الجمعيات المؤسسات المعنية بالأشخاص ذوي الإعاقة في المملكة بمشاركة أولياء الأمور مجموعة من المتطوعين اللي حبوا أن يشاركون اليوم في هذه الفعالية ما شاء الله يعني الكثير من أول ما أعلننا عن الفعالية والكثير اللي يتصلون بنا وحابين أنهم يجون ويشاركون في هذه الفعالية مثل ما تشوفون اليوم في مجموعة من الإعاقة الحركية الإعاقة البصرية الإعاقة السمعية الإعاقة الذهنية إحنا حاولنا أن نجمع جميع الإعاقة يكون الالعاب والبرنامج اللي بيقدم يتناسب مع جميع الاعاقات. معكم عبير الدوسري نائب رئيس جمعيه بصمه خير طبعا حبيت اتكلمكم عن مشاركتنا اليوم في هذه المهرجان. الجمعيه هي داعم ومنظم في هذه المهرجان. تنظيم المهرجان نفسه وفي دعم من الجمعيه كهدايا حق المشاركين ان شاء الله. The Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation has contributed to allocation and processing of a hall within Khalifa Sports City for this important event. Many associations have volunteered to help to organize the teams, including a group of young people from the Bahrain team and volunteers from the small team with the great hearts. It's very nice to come to this festival, the Gulf Disabled. Uh, the organization is very organized and uh, we brought uh, volunteers to come and help us and uh, we, do, we are doing a creative uh, work with these children. First we visited their centers, we see what, uh, how capable they are, but I find them very creative and uh, we have about 10 uh, volunteers who are here giving their time and uh, it's love to be with them and enjoy and when each child is going away with a nice gift. Uh, that is done by himself or herself, that is the big achievement. So we're here to join the festival and we're really happy to be able to help the kids with special needs and disabilities in life. When we see them, we're first like, disappointed and we're really like, sad, but when we help them make them really happy, it makes us happy seeing the smile. The supporters of the festival include NQ Public Relations and Conference Organizations, El Anwar for Discounts, Lebanese Restaurants and others.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Higher Committee for Information and Communication Technology, received Vice President of Huawei Technology Group, Mark Zuman. Zuman briefed His Highness on the company's activities and its readiness to cooperate with the government as a key partner in the field of information and communications technology, praising the developments of Bahrain in this important sector. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed stressed Bahrain's keenness to benefit from the expertise and experiences of major companies to develop telecommunication services for the benefit of its people and to enhance confidence in the kingdom's position as an investment hub in various sectors. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan received the Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain, Ibrahim Mohammed Al Hassan, and discussed with him ways to enhance cooperation in labor and development fields. The minister stressed the depth of Bahrain Sudanese relations. He also informed the ambassador about the Labor and Social Development Ministry's programs and work plans, highlighting the efforts being exerted regarding human development, employment programs, the labor market system, and consolidation of social protection. He called for the need to strengthen cooperation between broadly two countries to serve human development programs. The envoy lauded the level of Bahraini Sudanese relations, noting that the kingdom enjoys a prominent international status thanks to the progress at all levels. He expressed the Sudanese government's desire to enhance cooperation with Bahrain in various fields, particularly labor and social development. The Kingdom Bahrain Civil Service Bureau, CSB, held an induction meeting at the Ministry of Finance for Government and Human Resources staff on the new volunteer retirement scheme for government employees. The CSP President Ahmed bin Zayed Az Zayed highlighted that the meeting was held to provide information on the scheme and eligibility requirements for government employees working for department that fall under the CSP. He further highlighted that the Volunteer Retirement Scheme represents one of the series of the measures announced last week as part of the Fiscal Balance Program, a comprehensive package of the reforms that will secure the Kingdom's long-term fiscal stability and insecure opportunities and living standard for citizens. The scheme will be open for registration between Tuesday 9th of October until 8th of November. Aside added that the scheme provides eligible participants with early access to end-of-service packages and incentives consistent with existing laws and regulations, including access to cash sum equal to five years, additional service, end-of-service promotion for entitlements, and end-of-service indemnity. Participants will also be given the opportunity to enhance their contribution to the kingdom's economic growth through entrepreneurship or participation in the private sector. Participants must have served in the role for a minimum of 10 years and cannot be working in a senior position. Measures are in place to ensure public sector functions will not be affected by the voluntary retirement scheme. In line with the directives issued by the Higher Committee for the Natural Resources and Economic Security, led by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco achieved a key project milestone when it announced on October 3rd placing oil on the new AB pipeline constructed between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. This for successful and safe execution of mechanical completion and pre-commissioning activities over the past few weeks. The project was executed by an integrated team of contractors led by Surya Ramco and Babco. It is Babco's largest capital project successfully delivered in recent years. A simple ceremony attended by senior members of Babco leadership was held to commemorate this achievement at Babco Refinery. Further work will continue over the coming weeks in stabilizing the flow of accrued oil along with completing associated commissioning activities. Aramco and Babco will shift the full supply of crude oil to the new pipeline in the months ahead. The new AP pipeline will replace the existing pipeline network serving the refinery. 
Babco takes a great pride in the chef milestone, which reflects the wise visions of the political leaderships in both sisterly kingdoms and embodies the value, support, and guidance of the Minister of Oil, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, for fostering this significant initiative, which aims at bolstering the sustainable growth in the region.